Well, look what showed up at my shop today. The Phillips fill a quarter. It's got a couple of problems. Let's take a look at it. So this is the bottom of the unit and you have to undo these screws to get the bottom off. Now what's tricky about this thing is these two screws, these larger ones, connect the keyboard front panel to the base. And in order to lift this thing up, we have to get this cover off and the cover Oddly enough, it sandwiches into a groove shape like that in here, and then it's supposed to have some screws up here that are missing, but it won't come off until you lift this away from the wood case. Well, you can't lift the base up and the key bed together because the keyboard has two more screws up under this cover. <laughs> so you have to take these out, which I wouldn't normally recommend taking out, except you have to lift this up a little bit and then this cover will let go when, once it comes out of that groove. Then there's a screw here and there's a screw on the other side. Then you put these back in to reattach the key bed to the base so it all stays together. Then when you flip it over you can just lift the wood case up and stand it up on its tail end. Okay so we have a inoperative G-sharp and tone generator board is here so we have all of our oscillators lined up along the top it's this one right here that's not working. And they fix it so you can fold this up and you can get to the bottom of it to solder or remove parts. So I did some measurements in the oscillator circuit. I was concerned it was going to be the transistor because uh, that looks like a part I would never find. Uh, probably a, a regular signal transistor would work. But that's not what it was. It had a shorted capacitor right there. So I took that out, I put in a slightly modified, or it's a different brand, you know, they don't make the same model anymore, so it's um, that one right there, instead of that yellow one right there. Yeah. Now my other concern was, of course, it wasn't in tune when I put that in, because you have to retune these things, is that they put some kind of material inside the tops of these coils to seal them or to lock them, I think. And I don't know what it is. It might be a wax kind of stuff, but I didn't want to take a chance on forcing it. You really never want to force these things anyway. And you definitely don't want to use a metal screwdriver. It's a little slot you can see right in there. And what you want to use is one of these, these plastic uh, tuning tools. And so what you would do is you would put that in there and turn it. Now because it was sort of locked with whatever that material was, I decided to take a heat gun and heat it up. And you could tell that it was kind of puddled in that slot and so I heated it up and then I pushed that in to see if I could sort of make any kind of dent in there. And then finally it, it seemed like it did and then I went to turn it and it turned. So I got out my tuner and I tuned it up and it worked great. So G sharps. All working. Terrific. Uh, the other problem that I found was that it's got a reverb spring down below the generator and some of the springs had fallen off of it. I'm going to grab a, a spring off of another reverb unit and put it on there and then I should be able to put it all back together. So this is the footages, so you have eight foot, four foot, two foot. Those different sounds, they can add them together. You can add the four foot and two foot also. Now 
it's got a uh, manual mode where uh, the and you'll notice there's some chords symbols on this. I think we put it in number three. It plays chords, one finger chords. If you take it back to one, regular man. Uh, we got vibrato here. Depth. We got uh, reverb. Fix the G sharp. Turn that up. in this keyboard so it doesn't feel like a real flimsy synthesizer keyboard but it's certainly not a weighted action but it's a strong spring so it feels like you can play it hard and not hurt it you know it's a solid solid feel so that's the Philly Corda um, isn't it the cutest keyboard you've ever seen come on it is so cute